Hey there, this is Mikey91 again, and let's get on with another part of GSC hacking tutorials. Let's open the ROM and go to a random offset that I just chose to pick. Let's go over here. Wait, this data is filled with beta zero zeros. It's actually well, this is actually unused data in the game. There are lots of parts like this in the ROM. And if you go a little bit downwards or upwards, you may find something in there. Let's keep going till we find some data that is actually in the game. Wait, what's this? Well, now we did found something. And actually that data it starts it starts at offset 108000 with two zero zeros and then seems that the real data begins after it well we don't really know if this is used in the game or not but at least here is some data that the game uses now we're probably wondering why it begins here. This is this is some offset that this is one of the offset that begins where data in the game begins, and a data like this. Uh, is actually end of a bank and data over here is where another bank begins. Let's I'm going to show you what calculator does if you for example if you do this it's 41 and if you do this forty two that's where this is where there is bank border border with between banks 41 and 42 usually in the end of the bank you cannot find any data that's used in the game. You can, however, use this data by moving your own data of your own hack here because it doesn't affect the game in any way. I've did it many times on Dark Futurist myself. <laughs> well, yeah. This is where another bank begins, and there is data that the game uses. Now let's check what kind of data may begin in this offset 108,000. There's a thing called Gold ROM Map it's over here. We just we do this. As you can see, events for outdoors, caves and special buildings are located in bank 42, which begins at offset 108,000. Skundanes, road tower, king tower, burn tower, legal stake, 
Mountain Moon, Underground Path, Rock Tunnel, Suffer Zone, Victory Road, and there is also unused NT event. I've actually recorded a video of this before. You can see it in YouTube if you want to. Fat man turns into Entei and fights you. It's level 40. Well, yeah. Maybe we should we should found data of these these events in this bank right now. Okay, let's continue again. So, what kind of data is event data actually? <laughs> well, it contains scripts, text, and that's it. It contains scripts and text. Scripts are used to make different things happen, and they also tell the game which text is loaded in different situations. So here are the events of this bank and they tell the game well here are actually scripts of this bank and tell the game where different text is for example loaded. Now we're going to open another internet site. It's Gegues Master Hacking Guide for Pokemon games. Red from Red to Crystal. Should I show this? Yeah, now it works fine. How do I edit the text in this game? First you need a table file and you can see what this thing tells you. Yeah, this is a table file for Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, Gold and Silver. Actually this is also for Crystal, although the game may... Although this file here tells you something else. So, for example, A is represented as byte 80, B as 81, Space in the game is 7F and for example if you want to show the player's name in the game it's represented with 52, rival's name is 53. Here are another letters in the game. dot numbers and this is not the table file for crystal I don't know what it is here for but it's not the table file so what you need to do is to copy all this data here or what you want to do and past paste it to a notepad text document and then to change the type, fi type file of the, that notepad file into .tbl it's usually it's normally .txt which tells the game that it's a 
notepad file, but you want to change it to a table file. So a hex editor can load it. Hex editor cannot load text files. They can only load table files. I have my own table file here, which is actually uh, expanded table file for red, blue, yellow, gold and silver. It contains uh, data of what happens if, for example, put some put some bytes between 58 and 7f in a text box. I rarely use them though. So, let's open the table file. File, open current table. And table file zero zero is turn out like this. And if you go, we go a little further in the data, we actually find some text here. We stand guard in this tower. Here we express our gratitude to honor all Pokemon. As you can see, this is a this is text that is shown. This text is shown when you battle one of the sages in Sprout Tower, and this shown after you beat him, and this after you talk to him again. This here, sorry. This here, for example, hero, hero and rival, which are 52 and 53, and were shown as A1 and A2 here, are not text. In the game, you have to. Well, when editing the game, you have to know which kind of data is text and which not because for example this H here is not text data it's actually part of a script it's just bit 87 in a script in the game and this here is bit 53 in a script in the game but for example these bits here, they are text, they aren't, aren't script. I checked that I still have a couple of minutes to... I still have a couple of minutes time, so I'm going to show mm, fast how to edit this text. These here are bits that determine what kind of text is in the game. But for example, this here, it's for changing a line, and this here is another bit for changing a line, and so is this one here. 57 is a bit that tells the game that no text is loaded anymore, and 00. zero is actually a bit that has to be after one text ends and another one another one begins. Now there is a tool called Pokitext which we can use to edit this text a lot faster. It's this text is located in offset one hundred and eight thousand eighty twenty 28. So, to show it in Pokitext, you have to open file of Pokitext called Gold Silver Banks and write something like this over here. Start and offset, close it, and something like this over here. Now, you can open your ROM with Pokitext. Yeah. And you can see the text is shown like this, and you can edit a lot faster this way than 
with a hex editor.